Hey everyone, welcome to Math Talk. I'm your host, Brian Heisler, and today we're going to continue to talk about surface area, but we're going to focus on cylinders today. So let's get started. So a cylinder is something like a Coke can or a can of soda. It's a three-dimensional circle, basically, um, that's stretched out, really. And so we have a can of soda here, and it, the example asks us, um, a can of soda has a radius of 4 centimeters and a height of 10 centimeters. So find the surface area of that can, and then use 3.14 for pi. So whenever I see a phrase that says use 3.14 for pi, you pretty much need to think automatically that you're going to use pi in your equation. And that is absolutely true, as you can see in the equation for the surface area of a cylinder below. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the information that we have, and we're going to plug in the radius and the height and our value for pi, and see if we can calculate the surface area. So let's get started. So the surface area is 2 times pi, which they said use 3.14 times the radius, which they told us was 4 centimeters, times the height, which they gave us is 10 centimeters. Then you're going to add 2 times pi times r squared. Uh, pi is 3.14, r is 4. Okay. And so what we're basically doing with this formula is we're taking the area of the top part of your can of soda, which is that little circle area, the bottom part of the can, which is a bottom circle, so that's where these two formulas come in, and then we're taking the area of the outside, of kind of the middle part of it, which really is basically like a rectangle that's been kind of curved around to form a circle or a cylinder. And that's where the other part of the formula comes in. So let's go ahead and continue to solve. Surface area is uh, 2 times 3.14 times 4 times 10. Uh, that's going to be, let's see, 251.2, which I would recommend using a calculator to type that in, plus 2 times 3.14 times 4 squared is going to be 100.48. And then we're going to add these two together. Surface area. You add those two together, you get 351.68. And again, we want to make sure we include our units correctly. We're talking about centimeters. And since we're talking about surface area, it's centimeters squared. So this is going to be the surface area of our can of soda. Now typically what they will probably ask you to do is round this to the nearest whole number, just because surface areas that are some decimal like that or you know a little bit of a what I call kind of uglier number um, it's not as clean um, so your answer will probably be 352 centimeters squared um, just so you can see that as you know a possibility in your answer choices um, but nonetheless what you want to do is you want to take the information you're given plug it into your formula which is definitely found on your reference sheet again I recommend using that um, it's to your advantage and to your benefit so definitely use it and then go ahead and solving it using you know, order of operations and using your calculator to find those calculations. So I hope this helps as you get to find your surface area of cylinders and thanks for watching. If you have any other questions or you need assistance and you live in the Palm Beach County area, visit our website at GEDS.com to find a location near you and sign up for classes.